All the scripts in this video can be found over at robloxscripts.com, link in the description. Like this video and subscribe for more daily scripts. What up everybody, it's your boy Roblox Scripts coming at you guys with another video. This is my updated Fluxus guide. I did a guide on Fluxus before, but there's quite a lot of information that I missed out and I read your guys' comments and I listened to the feedback. So here is the new and improved guide on how to use Fluxus on PC in 2024. So firstly, let me just get this clarification out of the way. Fluxus, this is not the official version of Fluxus. This is a modified version of Fluxus, which is ran by a team called Punk Team. Apparently, they've been doing this for a few years. I'm not, I can't confirm that, but from everything I know, this is completely legit. I've been using this for months. The biggest danger you have with using these kinds of executors is executing scripts that abuse vulnerabilities. So be very careful with what scripts you execute. And by vulnerabilities, I mean be very careful because some scripts, they can steal your Robux, they can steal your accounts, they can change your name, and they can do other things to your computer. So be very careful with what scripts you are executing. Fluxus is 100% safe, Codex is 100% safe, Arceus X is 100% safe, Delta is safe. All these executors are safe. The big danger is executing dangerous scripts. So this is why I recommend you only use robloxscripts.com as I manually test every single script that I post. It's all posted by me. Nobody else controls what gets posted to the website. So use my website, stay safe. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight into this. So you wanna click the link in the description below. It's gonna take you over to robloxscripts.com, Fluxus free Android executor. Now, if you do not have an ad block enabled, every time you click, there will be a pop ad. I have two pop ads on the website, so it will reset. And so sometimes if you open up a different link, just close it straight away. Stay on robloxscripts.com. This is the download for Fluxus. And you want to click on where it says download right here. So click on download. It's going to take you over to an ad focus link. Like I said, guys, this is completely optional. You don't have to view these ads. You can install an ad blocker like uBlock, which I highly recommend. But if you want to support me, you want to keep this channel going, you want to keep the website alive, please support me by viewing these ads. And as you can see, you wait five seconds, you can click skip in the top right corner and it will take you over to this link right here. So this is the paste bin. You can save this, you can write this down on a notepad, you can bookmark this. This will be updated as much as I possibly can. It was last updated on the 5th of September. Remember guys, if this is not updated, then please join my Discord server and ping me in the chat by pinging real sir meme. So ping me in the Discord if it's outdated. If you download Fluxus from my website and it's outdated, please ping me and I will try my best to update it. So the latest version, I need the 64-bit version because I'm using LD Player 9. If you want a 32-bit device, then you will have to use the 32-bit version, but we're running 64-bit right now. So we're gonna download this, we're gonna copy the link, we're gonna paste it into here. We're gonna download the latest version of Fluxus APK. Remember, this is not the official version of Fluxus, but it works just as well. So now you've downloaded the APK, you can drag this onto your desktop just to make things more organized and easier to see. So the next thing you will need is an Android emulator. I highly recommend LD Player 9. Now, do not install the latest version of LD Player 9. Click the link in the description. It will take you over to this versions page right here. You need to scroll down until you get to version 9.0. 0.71. So this is the version we're going to be using today. The reason why we're going to be using this version and not the latest version is because on the latest version, you may have noticed that Moo Moo Player, Bluestacks, LD Player 9, all these emulators, you all of a sudden you can't control Roblox the same as you could before. So you, you can't move around, you can't jump, you can't do anything like that, which is really annoying. And the only way around it right now is to use really terrible keybinds on Moo Moo Player. So this is a fix for that. Install this version of LD Player 9, so just click download and then, you know, download unverified file, wait for it to install the EXE. Once the EXE has been installed, just double click it, install LD Player 9.0.71. Do not install the latest version, otherwise you will not be able to walk around in game. So we're going to install this version. Okay, so LD Player 9 has finally finished installing and the first thing you can do is you can now install Fluxus. So simply drag the APK file 
into the LD player dashboard and you will see Roblox starts to install straight away. While Roblox is installing, you can click on this little settings icon right here and you can set up your LD player 9 performance settings. So I have a really stacked PC, so I'm going to select 8 cores and I'm going to select 8 gigs of RAM, the highest spec that you can use for LD player 9. If you have a really terrible PC and your Roblox lags really bad, then you can change the resolution, you can mess around with the CPU and RAM until it works. So yeah, keep that in mind if you have terrible performance. I'm going to save those settings, we're going to restart LD Player, and we're going to launch straight into Roblox and log in. Okay, so we've just logged into Roblox, we're going to launch into a base plate, and I'm going to show you exactly how to use Fluxus. So, how Fluxus works is you have to load into a game first for the Fluxus UI to then load, and it does have a key system, but the good thing about Fluxus is you can instantly bypass the key system in my Discord server. So you join the game, Fluxus will load on the left hand side, it will ask you for a key, click on get key, and then head over to my Discord server, the link will be in the description below, you can also type it into your browser, discord.robloxscripts.com, it will take you straight over to this server, head over to the key bypass section, type in bypass to the commands bar, and then you've got the option of sniffing cat or this bot right here, first we're going to try sniffing cat, if sniffing cat doesn't work, then I always recommend trying the second bot. But luckily it worked straight away. We got the Fluxus key bypass almost instantly and we can head straight back into LD player, click on check key and Fluxus will load just fine. So we've got Fluxus loading right now. We can now execute scripts. Let me show you how the auto execute folder works. Okay, so we've got the UNC test right here. Let's execute the UNC test on Fluxus. Let me just make sure that I've definitely executed this. So click execute. And we'll see what happens. Let me just go to the console real quick. So to load the console on the emulator, you just have to type console into the search bar. We just typed it wrong. Uh, let's go down. Let's see what happened with the UNC test. So we got a score of 93% on Fluxus. So 93% UNC score. And for anybody that's interested in how auto execute works on this, just head over back to the executor tab. We have a script in this section. You literally can just do save script, you can also save to workspace, but most importantly you can add to auto execute. So open up shared folder, click on Android shared folder, and this will bring you to the section where you can access all of the executors right here. So if we go back, so if we go back to here, you can see we've got Fluxus. We, uh, I only think we have Fluxus because we haven't used anything else. So click on the Fluxus folder and here is where you will find the auto execute in the workspace. So if we go on the auto execute, you can see we've just added a script straight into here. And you can also, you can edit the scripts that you put in there by clicking on the editor. So you can change these, you can rename these, you can use this like a normal executor. You can access the workspace for Fluxus as well. So Fluxus is really awesome to use. It's really easy to use guys. I hope you've understood this video well. Remember, if you need any help or if you have any questions at all, please join my Discord server and ping me in the general chat at RealSirMeme. I will be happy to help you guys. So leave any comments down below if you're confused or you get stuck. Remember, I will try to keep the pasting link updated as much as possible. If it's outdated, ping me in my Discord. So leave, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below what you guys want to see next. Let me know if this helped you out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.